If you enjoy these videos, I'd love it if you'd become a part of my Patreon community. The link to find out more about that is just below this video. Hello, another books from the coffee table from me. So this time I'm going to be talking about three texts which are useful if you're really deeply interested in studying Welsh lore, if you're a big student of the Mabinogi and so on. So one of those books we're going to talk about is The Stanzas of the Graves. Sorry, I'm slow getting my books picked up here. Um, the Legendary Poems from the Book of Taliesin. And The Triads of the Island of Britain. So let's start with that. If you're just going to get one book to help you with your studies of Welsh lore, this is the book. Now, if you're not familiar with the triads themselves, and just to give you the Welsh pronunciation of this, it's Trioedd Anas Prydain. So that's my best Welsh, but I think it's pretty accurate. Um, this book, if you're familiar with the Irish triads, uh, they're mostly wisdom sayings, quite short little proverbial sayings, you know, three clever things, three horrible things, that sort of thing. These are more, the Welsh triads are more aid de memoir to, we assume, to the bards to help them in their training um, with remembering all the stories, both stories from the mythology and stories of the great kings and so on. So only some of these triads relate directly to mythology. Others relate to history, but if you're getting into studying Welsh lore, you're probably aware of how intertwined those two things are. The great thing about this book is not just that it contains a very excellent and able translation of the triads, because that's certainly useful, but Rachel Bromwich, the, the author of this book, the translator and editor of this book, has given, given us a huge... Um, like a biographical sketch of just about everybody that's mentioned in the triads. So when she's done that, she's really been quite exhaustive into drawing in lots of different sources for you. So you can look up Manawyddin or Hle or Mavon or Gwydion or all sorts of people, and she'll, she'll draw in lots of references. So that will give you lots of little leads to follow, maybe some things you're not aware of, um, things you want to now look up and you'll have a good idea where to look them up. And there's a great big, wonderful bibliography. This, uh, my copy is an older one, an older hardback one. I'll make sure that I add a picture to the video of what the newer editions look like but whatever edition you pick up it's pretty brilliant and if you just wanted one book um it's not cheap but it's worth saving up and you know there's no harm in buying a second hand one i think and then there's the legendary poems from the book of taliesin now i talked recently about um the book of Taliesin, another book of Taliesin translation, which contains all the poems, including the historical and prophetic poems translated. And that's a good translation, but if you want a really scholarly, super scholarly translation, this one is better. So if you haven't bought um, the other one that I talked about and you're looking for something specifically aimed at studying mythology and better understanding of the perception of the other world, that sort of thing. This might be a better bet, although it's a little less cheap. <laughs> so this is edited by Margaret Haycock, another fine uh, scholar, and extensive notes about why she translated things the way she did, and background on the poems. And the poems are printed, I'll see if I can get this close enough that you can get a glimpse of it. The bold type is the Welsh, and then she's inter interleaved the lines, um, interspersed the lines with the English in plain type under each bold type line. I don't find that flows super well to read, but it's, it's worth the effort to get the information. And it does help you if you are a Welsh speaker or a Welsh learner to begin to compare 
the English translation um, with the original language, which is a great thing to do. Now, you, if you're a really keen student of Welsh lore, you might have these books already, these two books. And another book that's quite good for ferreting out little bits is The Stanzas of the Grave, or Englidian Abethai. <laughs> yes, I struggled with that a little, but I'm doing my best. So this is translated by John K. Bollard. And the Grave Stanzas, again, appear to be perhaps be memory devices for the bards. So this time though, they're, they're giving us just a short little bit of information, almost like a haiku um, about uh, various people and some mythological characters, um, certainly Hle and I think Arianrod get a mention and some others, uh, Dullin definitely. So, they're also giving a supposed believed location for the grave of this person. Um, in some cases that might be under the sea, which isn't a lot of use, but <laughs> you know, it's sort of what happened to them. Very interesting idea and I have found it useful. I did find it useful, particularly in my uh, research when I was writing Lu Hui recently. Um, John Bollard is a super translator. He he has done a a translation of all the all the stories in the Mabinogi as well, the Four Branches and the Arthurian Tales and the Native Tales. Um, he's done them in separate volumes, which is interesting. And the reason he's done that is because he's working with a photographer to produce these books, who's um, providing us with photographs of the locations, um, either as best we know them in this in the Mabinogi or in this case the locations of the graves and the graves stanzas. So Bollard is I love his language. There's a just an excellent flow to his uh, translations. Very um, pretty literal, but it just has a nice flow to it. So you might enjoy Anglinian Abelai if you um, have the other two books already. So that's it for this week, short and sweet. I hope that's some help and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.